Okay, so what I'm trying to do is get these orange shafts kind of parallel to the shaft of her club. You see, see that? Is that pretty there? Yeah. So there's something called the club being on plane. I'm going to move you around, okay? Okay. So because this is the shaft plane, when she takes the club back, she needs to take the club back on this plane. So when she gets to halfway back, the angle of the shaft matches the plane, that shaft plane, and a dress, right? I'm going to move you again. This would not be good. This is what we saw earlier, breaking the glass, not necessarily from you. Okay, so going back up, out, we go up off the top. And as we drop in, you kind of want to drop in the slot, kind of like on plane again, or slightly under the plane, but not out. Because if you go out, that's swinging from like five to one or something. No, five to 11, right? So you want to swing here. And here's where you want to be on, kind of on plane again. When we talk about the half swing from catching, you want this shaft once again to match that shaft angle. Okay, on plane, so let's see if you can do it yourself. Very it's slow. I just want you to go to half, I want to show something else. Go halfway back and stop, please. Okay. The other thing that we look at, if she was to go to the top of her swing, what we're looking at is this arm matching that plane. Is it matching now? You know, this angle? So the left arm also needs to be on plane. When you guys come back, see how that's flat? That's not on plane. So slow back one more time. I'm trying to get the left arm. That's that's not bad. Here's a, probably a better position. Ready? And slowly come back down on plane. Good. Good. And we head. Okay, so I just want you to understand when we're talking about halfway back, hinging where the butt end of the club should be angled and how it should be angled.